Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Bhupesh. So today we are going to start a new playlist altogether pertaining to Grafana Cloud because uh, we have not done anything on Grafana Cloud so far. It is all about Grafana on Kubernetes, Grafana on VMs that we have done, you know, till today. So today we'll be starting a new playlist altogether. Uh, first of all, we'll try to understand how we can create a Grafana Cloud account. Uh, the SaaS service, and then uh, we will install. Uh, we'll not install Prometheus. We'll just uh, simply. Uh, it is already there, so we will in not install. We'll just use the existing Prometheus, and then we'll install Node Export if it's not there on the machine. And finally, we will ship all the matrices related to Node Exporter, basically the infrastructure metrics from local machine to Grafana Cloud. That is what is the intent. So intent about this session is you've already seen how to ship matrices from your uh, Prometheus or your Vox monitoring to uh, Grafana, but today we are going to understand how to first of all uh, create a Grafana Cloud account and then we'll install Prometheus on local machine, install node exporter, then we'll send these matrices to Grafana Cloud. That is the intent of this uh, session and we'll modify the Prometheus configuration and matrices to Grafana Cloud. So let's get started quickly. And last but not least, if you're not like and subscribe to the channel, please do that so that you can get all the uh, you know updates related to Grafana, Prometheus, Elasticsearch, Kubernetes, and so on, and open, open telemetry also. So I've created a very small uh, you know GitHub page for the same for this session. You can simply come here and then uh, just quickly do a quick demo on this a use case. So let's see how we can create a Grafana Cloud account. First of all, the prerequisite for this session is you need to have a Grafana Cloud account, a free Grafana Cloud, which you can get it for 15 days free of cost from Grafana. So how you need to create it, you need to come here and then say uh, Grafana Cloud. Okay, you'll get the Grafana Cloud homepage. And then uh, you need to just click on this, create a free account. It's very straightforward. You need to just then sign on with your email id since i've already created it so it is you will land up on this page you need to give let me first of all do a log out and then i'll tell you so again grafana cloud you need to click here create a free, free account and then simply give your you know gmail and then once you give any gmail then you'll uh, account will get created so let's first of all quickly log into my account which I just give my email ID and then uh, my account got created it. Okay, so this is my, uh, so the moment you give your email ID, your Grafana Cloud account will get created. You come to this home page and then you will see uh, 15 days uh, subscription here. You can get a 15 days subscription, free subscription on Grafana Cloud and you'll get your, so I've created my Grafana Cloud account with this name, bupesharma.grafana.net, okay? And they have created it now the first and important thing is i need to ship all my matrices from my box or any box for that matter to this grafana cloud and see whether the metrics are getting properly viewed here or not so let quickly uh, jump on to my uh, the actual documentation so yeah so first of all you need to create a grafana cloud account that's what we have just checked use this is the reference documentation it is valid for 15 days once we have the grafana cloud account then we need to ship the matrices. So let's install Prometheus on Ubuntu machine or any machine for that matter. You can simply go to that uh, location or the GitHub page and then you can simply install Prometheus, which is already explained in a greater detail. Mm, you know, you can simply click this Prometheus.yaml and then you can install all the Prometheus on the Ubuntu machine. Now, suppose your Prometheus is already there. Let me first of all see whether Prometheus is my running on 9090 port. So these are all prerequisites because the intent of this session is not to install Prometheus and Node Exporter, but to in install uh, ship matrices from uh, machine to the Grafana Cloud. Now you need to install Node Exporter, which is an exporter which is responsible for sending or collecting the infra matrices from your uh, box. So again, uh, you can simply install uh, Node Exporter from this YAML, and this is again very straightforward thing. And you know, Node Exporter runs on port number 9100. The node exporter is running it is it's capturing the matrices from your local machine so my node exporter is running prometheus is running independently let's see the next step 
in acceptance you need to modify the prometheus configuration within your box and then make sure that you have the so i'm already into that location cd etc prometheus and then copy the prometheus.yaml file from this github repo to that so if i go to this prometheus.yaml file and i come here if i do a cat of prometheus.yaml file let's see the main difference see everything is you know almost same script internal 50 second and the script config i'm con i'm scraping two configurations uh, two endpoint basically the prometheus endpoint the uh, the matrices of dip itself prometheus and then i'm scraping the node exporter uh, matrices from 9100 which i'll just show it showed it to you so there are two kind of matrices that are there so if i simply do 9090 i can get prometheus matrix these are prometheus matrix and the other is uh, the node exporter matrices now what i need to i need to send all these matrices to my prometheus of grafana cloud okay so what i'm saying i'm just with the help of this agent i'm saying please send all these matrices to not to the local host prometheus but to grafana cloud prometheus now you may ask from where you need to get this information url username and password so you need to come to your grafana cloud page now i'll go a little bit slow okay and then uh, you need to come here manage subscription okay okay i hope it should not ask the password for me okay so i am into my subscription you'll see this is the grafana cloud account i have created it we need to click here now if you see in the right hand side there are a lot of options you have a prometheus so whenever you create a, a grafana cloud account at the back end it runs your prometheus for you it runs Loki for you and it runs uh, tempo open telemetry all these uh, you know for you for your for your you know ease you don't need to run independent things so you need to click on this detail section under prometheus okay you need to scroll down and then you can read all these things so this is the user id and password you can generate a token from here and i'm scrolling to we'll talk about grafana later not today okay yeah sending matrices with prometheus so this is section which you need to copy so prometheus remote right configuration is this you need to copy this url this is the username of this Bhupesh sharma uh, id and then this is the token now how need to how you can generate token you can simply click here generate now and then you give some name like suppose i give metric 2 and then create a token right then you'll get this token you need to copy this token come here and then paste this token here so i'm not pasted it for the security perspective but you need to paste this token here and then that is what i have already pasted in the token in my local uh, server so that is pretty much so the important thing you need to understand is how to create this username and password and get this url from uh, this grafana cloud i'll show you again so you need to come here this is the home page of your instance and then click on details and then uh, you can just scroll down to the bottom uh, sending matrices to the matrix endpoint integration sending matrices grafana agent no we are not using grafana agent today yes we are sending matrices with prometheus which is installed locally so i'm sending prometheus i'm sending matrices from this prometheus okay so copy the section replace the pack token api token uh, with the one which you generated just now and then simply replace it here and then you know next step is restart your prometheus so yeah i'll come out to the documentation so once you have changed it you need to come here you need to just stop the prometheus i'm doing it in front of you status prometheus it is stopped i'll just start the prometheus again start i'll do the status again easy live service okay so i'm just checking the logs of the service so you can see the remote right is this one now and remote right you see they, they, they will be you know api push at the end from push okay api from push at the end 
so now there is no error in my uh, prometheus agent log so i'll go to my uh, grafana endpoint see i'm on to the grafana cloud i'll click on this explore i'm already in this so they are already configured uh, so you can see how many what, what things are configured into the data sources sections so you can see your prometheus is already configured see with your name so this is all beauty of grafana cloud sorry grafana cloud click on explore and then let's see what all matrices you are getting so again come to your documentation and run this magic query count the distinct matrices by each job uh, you need to just verify matrices on your grafana cloud portal okay so come on so run this run it for last five minutes so you see i'm getting data from two jobs one is node exporter one is from Ethers, which you have seen it a few seconds ago see i'm getting data from two endpoints node exporter endpoint and the prometheus endpoints so that is pretty much i want to keep it very simple so today we have just seen how to uh, send matrices from any vm to the grafana cloud the, the only thing which you need to understand is how to create a grafana cloud account and how to create this api token and grab these important information from this grafana cloud uh, actions and suppose you have a free account you'll get only one stack but suppose if you have a you know uh, premium uh, from suppose you're supporting one of the customer and you 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 can add multiple stacks right multiple instances of your grafana so today we have seen how to send matrices from local to grafana cloud next time we'll see how to send traces to uh, grafana sorry log to grafana cloud and then traces to tempo we'll see all those things uh, in next session so do check out the same playlist the grafana cloud playlist in the same channel and yes last but not not the least do like and subscribe the channel to see a lot of other sessions or use cases pertaining to grafana elastic search kubernetes aws cloud or any other cloud for that matter and open telemetry which is again a very hot topic in the market so i'll take a pause goodbye for now we'll see you later goodbye